So in this Ad Skills tutorial, I want to talk about the onboarding process we use for getting clients' accounts inherited into our AdWords MCC account. If you've never watched an Ad Skills video before, my name is John Belcher. I'm the teacher at Ad Skills, and we're super excited to have you in the community. So what are we talking about exactly? Well, whenever you're managing accounts for clients, you you want to try and make it easy for you to manage all of their separate accounts in one place. And to do that, you use a, an AdWords manager or what used to be called an MCC account. Um, it's like Facebook Business Manager, but better because it doesn't take as much time to get access. So uh, what I want to do here is walk you through the process for getting access from your clients, talk with a little bit about some of the details with it, show you how to do it, and then give you an idea of some of the things that make the process a little easier. So how does this make your life better? Well, it allows you to manage your client accounts via yours, so they're all consolidated. There's no need for them to share login data that you know, can put them at risk. This is a very easy way to get access. You've got uh, budget control, those types of things that you can have the access that you need. Go in and do your work and not have to, you know, get people's passwords or, or figure out what's happening here or doing there. Um, the other thing that I really love is the ability to run scripts across your accounts. So one of the things that I've taught, uh, if you check the card right now, is a, a script called the master negative list that you can add negative keywords and placements to all of your search and display campaigns across all of your accounts with one click. That's really important when you're going through and setting up your display campaigns. You want to add your blacklist to everything, and it makes it really easy to do that. So that's why I love an MCC account. It makes that possible and easy. I highly recommend using one if you're going to be managing clients' accounts. So what you'll need to complete this process is first your Google AdWords account. Uh, you'll need to set up an MCC, a master account, if you don't already have one. Second, you'll need a client ID number, so the, the ID of the client's account that you're going to be managing. It's a 10-digit client ID number. I'll show you where to find that in AdWords. And then finally, what I highly recommend doing is creating a video for your client to show them how they can accept your request. Um, it's not the most intuitive thing to find where these requests are at. So I use Loom. I film a video. I only do it once for all of my clients. So here's the process for accepting our MCC request. Send it to them. They can watch step-by-step, step, go through and do it. It makes life a lot easier. So the process you're gonna to follow to get this done is first, you're gonna go into your AdWords MCC account. Make sure if you have an individual account, this doesn't work in your individual account, you need to be in your manager account. Second, go to your accounts level on the left side and then the management, management tab. Then you're gonna click plus and you're gonna request a, an existing AdWords account. So you're gonna request it by this, the customer ID number they gave you and then you're gonna wait for them to approve. Now, once again, Sometimes they don't do it quickly or they don't know how to do it. So that's when I send the video and say, all I need you to do is watch this video, click on the button, and I'll be ready to run your ads. So that makes a huge difference. So before I dive into the actual requesting process, I'm going to show you how you can tell your clients how to find their ID number if they don't know how. So when you've got your new UI like this, you click over here. I'm in our example account. So you open this up, and this customer ID right here, this 10-digit number, is the number they need to send you. Um, it's a very easy process to go through, figure this out, email you, and then you can start your process of requesting access. Here's how you do that. So I'm inside of my MCC. I come to Accounts, the Management tab, and then I'm going to click Plus, Link Existing Account. And then you've got the customer ID number. So if I just said 111, 11, whoops, 111, 1111, it's like an American phone number. Um, you've got your 10 digits, then you click Send Invitation. And so that invitation will be sent over them. It'll show that it's pending here in your account. And what you need to do at that point is send your video over to show them how to accept it. So here's how they go through and accept it on their end. What they're going to do is they'll come up here in their account, click on the, uh, the, the wrench here, and they're going to go to Account Access. And then Managers, this Manager tab. And there should be a request in here from your MCC. All they have to do over here where it says Remove Access it will say approve and it will give you access and that's it. The process is done. You have full access to their account. It's a very easy process, but once again, super important to know this. Uh, if you're going to be man managing accounts for multiple AdWords clients, I highly recommend setting up an MCC today. The one thing I will tell you is so the, the struggle with AdWords is you can only associate one email or your email with one AdWords account. So if you've got an individual account set up with your, you know, you know your normal email, I would set up a second email strictly for your MCC. That's going to be the one that will be associated with that MCC, and you can use that for all those other accounts. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads Pathway. 
It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much, and have an awesome day.